Raptor Pro's brand new mixer page allows users to tweak and finalize their patches in a single place. Inside of this page, you can add insert effects, send effects, mix the volumes of all the elements, pan, and much more. Let's take a look at what you can do inside of the mixer page. Inside of Raptor Pro's mixer page, the first thing you'll see are two send effects, send one and send two. Each one of these can be replaced with one of the many effects that come with Rapture Pro. We have delay effects, which are blue, modulation effects, which are green, reverb effects, which are orange, and distortion effects. These are red. We've color-coded them so that you can see what effects you're using from afar. The way it works is each element in the element mixer has an individual send, when these are in effect sends mode, you can send from one to two with the respective knobs, and then you can adjust the mix with the dry wet knob on the right. Let's take a look at some sound examples. First, let's take a listen to some distortion effects. some reverb now. Let's replace the distortion and the reverb with modulation and delay. Rapture Pro's effects are very powerful and they're color coded so that you can see what you're doing on the fly in a live studio environment or on stage. If we move to the center of the instrument, you'll see that we have a giant step generator available to us. This step generator controls volume. We can see that this particular patch has a dip in volume and then it gradually raises up in volume. We can individually control the left and right amps as well, and each side has its own set of presets. For the right side, we can draw on our own. Then for the left side, let's add a randomized option. Let's see what this sounds like. Tab over to the EQ and we can finalize the entire patch with the brand new graphical interface for the parametric EQ inside of Rapture Pro. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like without the EQ. With a touch of low end, removing the low mid range, Adding a high shelf, this adds a crispiness to the patch that wasn't there before. And then tab over to the mod matrix, and this is where you can assign every single control to the different macros inside of the instrument page in Rapture Pro. Inside of Rapture Pro, below the Step Generator, Master EQ, and Mod Matrix, we have a global insert effect. By global, we mean that this insert effect is the last effect that your patch hits before hitting the Master Output or Master Pan. Much like the Master EQ, you can use this to add final touches to your patch. So if you wanted to use this to add a global distortion effect, you could.
you could put a master reverse delay on your patch as well. And you can use the global mix control to adjust how much of this effect you want in your patch. Inside of Rapture Pro's mixer page, at the very bottom of the mixer page, we have the element mixer. This element mixer allows you to mix the six different elements that you have available to you inside of Rapture Pro. On each individual element, you can adjust gain for every element. You can adjust pan, You can even choose which elements you'd like to send to the effects sends. You can turn on multiple elements at the same time and mix between them. Inside of Rapture Pro, we've introduced a brand new feature called Element Chaining. You can activate this feature by clicking on the Chain button on each individual element in the mixer, or by going to that element's drop-down menu and activating the feature there. Element Chaining allows you to run the output of a single element into an adjacent element's effects insert. In this particular patch, I have Element 3 running into Element 4's effects insert. You can chain multiple elements together to get bigger and more complex sounds. You can see in this example, I have element one chaining into element two, which is then chaining element three, and then chaining element four. Each effect insert on each of these elements is feeding the effects as the patch is played. Let's take a listen to what this patch sounds like without the element chaining. Element Chaining allows you to take advantage of Rapture Pro's vast and expansive library of effects. <laughs> 